start in motion, baby. Let's get physical. Okay, so before we even get started, I want you guys to drop a comment on what you'd like to see us cover next week. It needs to be the biggest wheel company that you guys know of. We need to know anything you possibly could want us to talk about because we're going to go balls to the wall on next week's episode. So what is Art in Motion Wheels? What is that? Oh, shit. What is that? So I'm glad you asked. Art Motion Wheels is a custom wheel company that was made in April 2nd, 2015 in Turlock, California. That was legitness. Yeah, it was. So we're gonna talk about the real reason you clicked this video, is what is Art in Motion and why are they always in the hot seat when it comes down to wheels? Especially in the last year or so, they have been under fire for all the terrible customer service that they've had and just their overall storm on anything social media related. The situation that I had with Art in Motion Wheels, um, I kept my mouth shut. I didn't want to uh, dog on a company that I wasn't sure what was going on with them. Regardless of the customer service that they gave me and everything, I just didn't want to be involved with all that and not know the facts. But now, shit has gotten out of hand. Do you A, repair the relationship, fix your product, get everything taken care of, get that five star rating, really just blow them out of the water? Or do you just tell the customer to fuck off? I can tell you which one Art in Motion usually does. Wrong. Whoa. This is great. Just the three of us. You, me, and this brick wall you built between us. And that's the thing. Art in Motion isn't in the spotlight for originality or designs or anything like that. They're in the spotlight because their customer service is just all across the board crazy. They came bounding over. <laughs> And I With a company being so new, we're talking less than three years old, Art in Motion Wheels has the same potential as ESR has, which is being able to blow up the market with a bunch of kick ass wheels. The problem is, you're gonna run into issues time and time again, especially when you're paying over $4,500 for a set of wheels. Take it away, Penny! Oh, hell no! And that's where I actually blame the customer and I blame the company because you guys can't just go out and spend a shit ton of money on something and just assume that everything's gonna be perfect without doing your research. And it's almost aggravating. They spend all this money on these multi-piece wheels and then they break, which they actually have structural issues because they haven't been properly tested physically. And then they blame the company. The company is new, less than three years old. They're gonna have growth pains and product pains and customer service and all that it's a customer's job too to do a little bit of research and decide is this wheel really the right one for them. So what does Art in Motion produce? Well, they produce one cast wheel and 22 multi-piece wheel renderings on their website. And that's what they specialize in. And they, since they've only existed for a little under three years, they have done quite well for themselves. They're an extremely popular wheel company right now in terms of the multi-piece wheel game. So how does Art in Motion make their wheels? Well, when it comes down to their multi-piece wheels, they use 6061 aluminum. Them. They use a VFC CNC machining and they also do integrity testing using CAD design and other programs as well. Art in Motion has been less than stellar when it comes down to the quality control. There are countless situations where their wheels have broken, they have lost center caps, they have lost pieces to their wheels, they have not refunded properly, they haven't refunded at all, they haven't received wheels for partial sponsorships for people. It's just an overall cluster. And I think that a lot has to do with the fact that even on their website, it's a sponsorship. And even on their website, it talks about their warranty policy. Their warranty policy goes into stipulations talking about stretched tires, camber, toe, coilovers, airbags, all that sort of stuff that you think would be normal stress on an aftermarket multi-piece wheel voids out their warranty completely because of this entire quality control nightmare that they've had in the past couple of months. But because people see the word sponsorship, that seems to be just a word that people love to use, they see it, they send in their information, they put $3,500 down towards a set of wheels that they've never seen before, that they have no information about. Their wheels crack or they don't get them, and then they freak out at the company. <laughs> And it's like, Bruh. do your fucking research. Damn! And that's where we really wanna drive this home. Price is not the sole determinant on what makes a wheel good. It's not the sole determinant on what makes a wheel original or what makes a wheel any better than anything else that you'd find on the market. 
At the end of the day, it's your job to decide if those wheels are worth a premium to you or not. Art in Motion has some really killer designs. They actually have some really cool looking wheels, except for the fact that they're renderings and not actual wheels on their website. So, as we just got done talking about sponsorships and how they're super lame, why don't you pick up a 24 inch decal that's completely free if you tag a friend. You also get a set of valve stem caps. And uh, we'll actually gonna do the neochrome ones because those are the coolest. So yeah, all you gotta do is tag a friend. But like I said in the beginning of the video, we wanna know what company you want us to cover next. It has to be a big company. We need to know the biggest brand that you guys think we need to cover because we're gonna go balls to the wall on this next episode. We're gonna go crazy with the editing. If you don't like the memes and you don't like the style, you can get the f out. Wait a minute. You. This is Alex from Fitman Inc. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wheel of History. We'll see you later. Peace.